Hey guys, what's going on? It is uh, Wednesday, April 1st. I guess it's April Fool's Day. Uh, a friend of mine made a request and said, uh, when do we get to see the other pets? Uh, I don't know where my cat Midnight is, but this guy's going to make his YouTube debut. This is my puppy Buckley. I don't know if he'll look at the screen very much. There he goes. Uh, this is the little guy that I alluded to earlier that broke his kneecap and had to have a pin put in place. He's about a year old. Uh, extremely energetic his uh he's half jack russell half yorkshire terrier um he's extremely energetic and extremely lovable loves terrorizing the cats uh but he also loves the cats so that's my buddy buckley um i'm gonna put him on the floor there you go bud uh there we go so here's my pickups for the week i'm coming to you from my uh new htpc in my kitchen uh I've got a little tv streaming here um, just going to try out, see how these videos work here. First up, I'm going to do my pickup from Mr. Uh, a Crosby 1099. I did a packaging video with what, uh, with how he packaged things up and sent it to me. Uh, first up is Road Rash for the PS1. Test Drive 6 for the PS1. This one is probably going to end up over at my parents' place. My dad loved the drag racing mode in here. Uh, played the hell out of it when, when my sister and I got our PlayStation for Christmas way back in 1998. Um, then there's Wipeout for the PS1. These are all for the PS1, by the way. And then uh, all-time favorite of mine, Wipeout 3. I'm not huge. You wouldn't know it by what I picked up from Mr. Crosby, but um, uh, futuristic, though, not necessarily futuristic, but these style racing games I was really into quite a bit. Uh, not so much test drive, but Road Rash 3D, Wipeout, Wipeout 3. I just need to get one more, I guess, to complete it, um, to complete the Wipeout trilogy. Uh, up next, there's a big PlayStation lot here. Um, yes, Buckley, I know. I know, buddy. Um, up next, picked up Star Wars Dark Forces for $1.99. It is the non-greatest hits version. So there you see those full color discs that I absolutely love. Um, then in a lot for uh, $12, uh, I got Duke Nukem Time to Kill, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and uh, it's, I don't have it with me right now. It's actually next to my PC, but uh, Duke Nukem 3D Strategy Guide. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was a pretty cool lot for $12. Um, up next, went out, did some hunting, Goodwill and both Goodwill, uh, and, uh, Salvation Army were pretty, pretty slim pickings at both of them. Uh, Goodwill has a ton of PS2 games, but a lot of it is, uh, a lot of it is racing and the Medal of Honor stuff. And not that the first, not that Medal of Honor Frontline isn't an amazing game. Uh, so I didn't, wasn't able to pick up anything over there. Salvation Army had two things that I picked up. Um, first one is Puss in Boots for the PS3. Um, not really something I'm, I was really hugely after, but I was able to pick up a PS3 on the dirt cheap this week, and I'm probably going to put it over at my parents' place, um, and this will this will go great for my niece and nephew when they come up to visit. Not a very challenging game or even a fantastic game, but just something to keep the kids entertained. There was one awesome pickup for $3.99, so four, these were both four bucks a piece, Puss in Boots, and this one's awesome, X-Men 2 Mutant Academy, or X-Men Mutant Academy 2, whichever, um, awesome 2D fighter, um, I see Activision did this one, um, not, uh, Capcom doing those, but, uh, this is an awesome 2D fighter, really, really glad to get it, uh, up next, an eBay find, this was $12. It was open, but it is complete in box, and that is Death Smiles Limited Edition. You're going to hear some growling and fighting as Buckley and my cat Gandalf get into it. That's a normal occurrence. Buckley will go antagonize him. Death Smiles comes with this uh, 
awesome faceplate, which it's still in the bubble wrap and still in its sleeve, so it obviously hasn't been used. Um, I might keep a FAT360 around just to have this, just to keep, just to try this out. Um, but yeah, glad to get Death Smiles. It's got the CD soundtrack with it. It's got the uh, faceplate and the fancy packaging. Really glad to get it for 14, almost 15 bucks. Um, I know it's not the Death Smiles Collector's, Edi Collector's Edition is considered rare, but not valuable. And it's not a rarity in the sense that it's like uh, the Mass Effect Collector's Edition. You're not, you can go into plenty of places and find it, no problem. Um, so yeah, glad to get that. Um, as I'm struggling to get it back in the box here, I'll just show you game is complete and in fantastic shape with the CD soundtrack. Um, then there was one, a bit of a oddity, I guess. Um, my girlfriend was rearranging our upstairs and she asked me if I wanted this and I was like, hell yeah, it's not something particularly uh, valuable or tough to find. And I don't even know if I've got anything that can run this. I might have to find a DOS shell uh, or a Microsoft 3.1 shell, but I really want to try it. First off, I won't even be able to run it until I get a USB uh, a USB uh, disc reader because it's on three and a half inch discs. But that's Microsoft Space Simulator. Hadn't seen this in a long time, and she said my girlfriend isn't a huge gamer, but she said this is actually pretty amazing. It's complete and in the box and in terrific shape. Um, it actually says nope. I won't run it on 3.1, uh, actually says, can you pick that up right there? Uh, let's see, move it over, MS-DOS. So I haven't seen a game like this in a long, long time. Up next is another eBay lot, uh, actually quite a steal for 99 cents, uh, and I'll have to complete this, but for 99 cents, this is Gran Turismo 5 Prologue. Uh, artwork is a little worse for the wear, but the disc is in great shape. I'll also have to complete this. Um, but this is Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. And last but not least, uh, a fighting, uh, not fighting, a racing game that I do like, Midnight Club Complete Edition, Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. This entire lot was 99 cents. After shipping, it came to uh, four, 453 to get uh, these three games. So even if I decide not to keep them, I'm sure I can get more than four bucks in trade credit. Then I had some uh, Xbox 360 pickups. The big one was from was an eBay find. This came with Cameo, not in the same package, obviously, but this came with Cameo Elements of Power for um, for uh, eleven bucks. I was able to get Cameo Elements of Power, and this one is Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise. I'll move it in there. I'm going to show it to you. It came from a Microsoft employee that donated it. Um, the disc is in great shape, manual is there, um, the pinata user's guide, and I'd never seen this before, uh, before I open this. This is apparently some sort of Trouble in Paradise sticker, it's not a sticker, a card, whatever, I don't know what this actually is, but I'm glad to get it. As you know, Trouble in Paradise is the rarest of the, or the rarest and hardest to find of the, uh, three Viva Pinata games. There's Party Animals and then just regular Viva Pinata. Party Animals and Viva Pinata are about uh, $10 games apiece. Trouble in Paradise is a uh, $30, $40 game still to this day. Up next is Resonance of Fate, Tri-Ace, the guys who made Star Ocean. I love Star Ocean. Um, gonna give this a try. I know it's a gun-driven battle system, kind of deep and uh, deep, and you got to get really into it, but I am uh, extremely glad to get it. Then a couple of games that I did that I got to complete sets. I now have Saw 1 and 2, and I was having a conversation with the uh, gentleman Wade in Rock 30 um, about how if these guys had the budget of um, The Evil Within, which I'm on record as saying is not one of my favorite games by any means. I was really disappointed with it. But if, they, if the guys who made Saw 1 and 2 for the, uh, for the Xbox, uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 had the budget, that um, that The Evil Within had. These would be fantastic games. As it stands, these are very uh, niche and middle of the road, but the puzzles and everything, it follows the Saw, especially Saw 1, which is a brilliant movie. I don't care what you think about the sequels. 
but Saw 1 is a brilliant horror movie. Um, if you've never seen it because you've written it off because it's just torture porn or it's just gore, it's not. It's actually a really smart, tight uh, thriller, uh, thriller horror movie. It's not just about the shock value in that one. Uh, really good, really good game, or really good movie, and the Saw 1 and 2 are, are, if I remember correctly, Saw 1, the video game, takes place between Saw 1 and 2, and Saw 2 takes place between 2 and 3, or 3 and 4, but these are really solid, not amazing, but solid video games based on a movie franchise, um, and the puzzles alone, the puzzles alone make it worth it. And then last but not least, it is complete with the manual, but I need to put it in a 360 box, but I've been trying to track down this in the non-platinum hits uh, version, um, which I know isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I have the other two in regular. I have Dead Space 2 and 3. Here is Dead Space 1. Um, had it on the PS3, and I found that the 360 version played a lot, lot better for whatever reason. Um, so yeah. Then there was one more pickup. Um, I didn't know anything about this, but I'm really into uh, games that can control with the uh, GameCube controller or the classic controller on the Wii, and this is a flight game called Skycrawlers, uh, The Innocent Aces, powered by Project Aces. It's an X-Seed game, so I figured uh, I'd give it a whirl. I'm a huge, uh, huge X-Seed fan. I have a lot of their games. Um, I'm glad to get it. Um, it says bonus reversible cover art. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, this must be. It actually does have that. And actually, I will reverse it because the c reversible cover art is way better than the standard cover art. I find that with a lot of the reversible ones, um, the Japanese companies are probably told by Nintendo that the America that the Western audience won't appreciate it and will have no frame of reference. Because uh, I know Xenoblade Chronicles came with gorgeous reversible cover art. I think uh, Lost in Shadow, I believe, came with reversible cover art too, and it's really nice. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, Skycrawlers, Inno uh, Innocent Aces, powered by Project Aces. Complete inbox in great shape. Um, and it was only 8 bucks, so I'm not really out anything. Then there was a couple of Craigslist finds. Mickey Mouse Capade uh, for the Nintendo. Uh, not complete. It's in box, but not complete. I need to track down a manual for it. If I'm going to have it in the box, I'm going to track down a manual for it. Uh, another Craigslist find. This one's getting tougher to find and not super rare or valuable, but it is uh, right around a $30 game. And that is Custom Robo. I have the box manual and artwork coming. Um, he sold it to me in a Tony Hawk Underground box, so if you have Tony Hawk Underground for the GameCube, Tony Hawk Underground 2, I think, for the GameCube, I have the manual and artwork for that. Um, that is everything except one last big, big find. Um, it was on eBay. Nobody had bid on it, and I said for 30 bucks, it is next to impossible to pass up this game for 30 bucks. I now have the entire collection and that is Smash Brothers. Picked this up for $30. Pretty, pretty awesome find for 30 bucks. Really, really glad to get it. Um, so yeah, pretty, uh, pretty solid week. I'll do a quick recap. X-Men, Mutant Academy 2. Duke Nukem, A Time to Kill, or Time to Kill. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Road Rash 3D, Wipeout 3, Wipeout, Test Drive 6, Star Wars Dark Forces, Dead Space for the 360, Saw 2 Flesh and Blood for the 360, Resonance of Fate for the 360, and Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise for the 360. For the PS3, Gran Turismo 5 Prologue, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, and Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. 
Skycrawlers, the Innocent Aces. Custom Robo for oh, Custom Robo for the GameCube. Puss in Boots for the PS3. Mickey Mouse Capade for the Nintendo. Death Smiles Collector's Edition Complete uh, for the 360. Microsoft Space Simulator for MS-DOS Complete. One pickup I didn't show, I forgot to show you this. Uh, this is Tukiden, Tukaiden, Kawami for the PS4. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. Uh, very Monster Hunter-y uh, type game. Uh, I'm actually enjoying it. I'm about an hour and a half in. It's a lot of fun. So far, um, like the like the combat classes and everything. So yeah, uh, pretty solid week. Um, next week is my birthday, so I probably won't go out. If I do, it won't be until Friday, maybe Saturday or Sunday. I plan on heading to ForksCon two. If you're in Grand Forks, you want to geek out a little bit. There's ForksCon, and it's actually not in Grand Forks. It's in East Grand Forks. It's over at the uh, Eagles Club. I think it's five or six bucks to get in, and it's from 10 to 6 next Saturday, the 11th. Um, if you recognize me, I doubt it, but there, I have about 25 subscribers right now. Um, come up and say hi. Uh, willing to talk video games. Uh, certainly, if you want to do some trading, I'm up for that. Um, but yeah, I think I'll be with my buddy Jason and his son Jackson. And finally, we'll show him one last time because he's itching to get back up here. My buddy Buckley says uh, says goodbye, and um, maybe he'll make an appearance in another one, because as, as soon as I started doing this, he started jumping around and wanting to be on camera more. So goodbye from me, and goodbye from Buckley.